Hello, fellow diamond painters. It's me, DP Crazy Lady. It is uh, about uh, 7.45 p.m. It's the uh, 16th of, uh, whoops, the 16th of April, 2024. I thought I'd give you just a little quick update be like a almost like a short or whatever but this is what i've uh accomplished so far on the uh gnome welcome gnome welcome gnome that's what it is say no more than once i love gnomes but that's ridiculous uh should practice what i'm going to say before i say it Blah. so i thought i would show you this and uh there's the uh, big jar down there. So once this gnome is done, the rest of the drills will go into that one. So it's it's getting there. Uh, I think when I get to about half, then I know I've accomplished something, and it's going to take a while. So this has turned out really cute. I, I like it. It's not hard to do, and it looks like there's going to be plenty of drills. I meant to mention on the GBFKE black cat that I did, uh, there were plenty of drills. Plenty. They all ended up in the jar, but there were more than enough to finish that uh, cat and the sayings, the words, and everything. So, no issues there because I've heard, you know, some people they either don't get enough drills or. Uh, there's drills that are missing, you know, so I had no issues. So, uh, now I'll move you over and show you how far I've gotten on the uh, Chuck Pinson. Because I said that I would show you, uh, you know, what I've been working on all today. From last night to today. So hang in there all right here is uh the chuck pinson there is the house the walkway the light uh, there's the uh creek crick whatever you want to call it there's the bridge <clears throat> and i'm going to get ready to uh Peel this off right here and do this tonight. I hope I can get it all done tonight. So then all I have left is that top row. And I know it's not going to be done before the end of this month, but at least I'm progressing. Uh, as far as the uh, cross stitch, I'm going to pause you a second so I can turn my stand around. And I will show you uh, what I've done with it so far. That's the stand. That's how it looks. It's just, you know, plain metal. It has a uh, screw down here at the bottom where you can tilt the bar, you know, all the way forward or back, up straight. The uh, Up here it has uh, a screw handle that you can uh, raise or lower and tilt the what they call the head of the uh, cross stitch stand and then when you're not using it you just unscrew down here and fold it down and put it away and you take the head off and so on so hang on I've got to turn this around so it'll take a second for you to see it but about a minute for me to turn it around so hang in there okay here's what I've uh, accomplished so far uh, it's getting there but this is a bear I mean that's a fox but I mean it's been a bear to work on there is so much confetti and I'm, I'm not used to that in a cross stitch, not like that. 
But there's the fox. Let's see if I can get it with a shadow. There we go. There's the fox. So I'm getting close. There's his eye, part of his eye. His nose will be right there. And I'm working on the ears. Uh, this part is fairly easy because it, it's easy but boring because it's the same color, same color. The whole thing is going to be like that. Uh, but that's what I've done so far. And this is supposed to be a little bunny uh, stitched into his. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a, a muffler or a, a scarf, you know, whatever it is. But. That's all I've uh, managed to uh, get done so far and progress on. It drives me a little crazy. So we'll see, you know, how much farther I get. I'll probably work on it tomorrow. I worked on it last night along with working on uh, the Welcome Gnome and uh, the Chuck Pinson. So I... Uh, what I'm what I'm doing is I'm working on you know a section because last night I I'm trying to remember did I show you this I'm I'm pretty sure uh, I worked on a section and then worked on it and worked on it and what I'm trying to do is do a section get it done and then go to the gnome and when I get a section done then I go back over to the uh, cross stitch and get as much of it done as I can tolerate so you know because it's I I am so used to working with DMC floss being in a skein that they don't get tangled up you know they lay in my container real easy these are all on strands and I'm not used to that the strands you know I've got to dig through them look at the numbers, all that stuff. I, with the floss, for some reason, when it's in the skein, I can pick out the color immediately. I can pick it up, I'm going, I cut it, done. This becomes a pain to me because I've got to pull out the thread, take out the piece that I need, and then put it back into the little thing, the little container, uh, hook thing, however they had it on cardboard. And it's, it's a pain. It's an absolute pain to me. It slows me down. So, you know, I'm not getting very far. And when you have, you know, you take out the big long strand and all you have is maybe two or three stitches of that color, then you have to put it back and then you have to get the next color and there may be five of the, uh, stitches of that color and so on and so forth and it's awful it's uh you know it, it's it taxes my brain it really does because i'm not used to this style of cross stitch so uh I'll get it done. It's just going to take me quite a while. Uh, one person had commented that I'm I'm pretty fast. Maybe I'm all right. I'm fast when I'm making my X's, but I could normally take an eight by ten or an eleven by fourteen pattern that I used to uh, cross stitch for that company, and the big size like that, and I could finish it in about. 10 days, 10, 10 days, maybe two weeks, max. That would be the turnaround. If it was smaller, like this one here is smaller, I could have it done in maybe eight days. Have it done, ship it back, and then get the next one, whatever project they had next. This, with uh, the way they've set it up and so much uh, confetti, you know, they're trying to detail it, detail it, and some of the colors I myself find unnecessary. But it's what their computer picked or, you know, what they did. I, I don't know how they designed it. So, 
<clears throat> we'll see what happens when it's done, if it was worth all the uh, time I'm going to have to spend on it, the hours and hours. So this I am loving. The house is beautiful. The colors, the shine, the sparkle. I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, I was getting ready to say I don't know what I'm going to paint after these. I don't. Believe me, I do not because I've got three projects running at the same time. And that's a lot for me. I, I half suspect that, well, I know the gnome will be finished first, you know, by working one section, one section. It'll be done way before the end of the month. This will not, I don't suppose, be done by the end of the month. Because, like I said, I'm trading off. But the cross stitch, uh, that's going to take me all the way into next month and then some. Uh, it could take me to the end of May. It's because of the stress of the confetti and the, the way the floss is. Uh, mm, it's going to take me a while because I can work on it so much and then I get frustrated and uh, tired of switching floss and switching and switching and switching that... Uh, I put it aside probably more often than I should, should, but, okay, but I wanted to show you, you know, what I have done so far, what I've accomplished, uh, I will try to maybe get on here tomorrow, sometime, depending on which one I'm working on, I might be working on the uh, cross stitch, because I want to get at least his head done, I want to see his head and his face. I want to see if it's worth finishing the whole thing. Uh, so you can tell me that as well. I mean, on camera, it probably looks, fan, you know, really pretty good. But in person, I don't know. I will, like I said, have to see as it uh, finishes up. So, uh... Like I said, the other cross-stitch company, uh, the item had been shipped. I did the tracking. It's cleared customs, and uh, it was shipped on the 12th, and by the 15th, it had cleared customs. So who knows how much longer that one will take to get here. And with that one, all I have to do is show the items. I don't have to, you know, do them right then and there if I don't want to. So, uh, well, I look forward to that, and uh, I don't know how soon I'll be getting anything from GBFKE. They, uh, I may hear from them this evening with the tracking, I hope. So, well, I hope you all had a good Tuesday. My dinner was excellent. The, squ the acorn squash and the wrap, oh, delicious. It's about 72 degrees right now, so I suspect it's getting to where I'm not going to be have to turn my heat on anymore. Uh, if it gets a little chilly at night or a little bit during the day off times, I'm just going to put something warmer on. I am done heating up this house with the furnace. So, uh, which means in about another month, the AC will have to come on say hello to a high electric bill. But I've always said I am not going to freeze in my home and I'm not going to roast to death. So I pay it. Uh, I would like to be able to get some Timu next month. I'm trying to see how much I can budget uh, and do a Timu haul. I'm hoping I can. It just depends on... Uh, what uh, my water bill turns out to be. I've been putting off doing laundry uh, until I think the 20, it's either the 25th or the uh, 27th, they will read the meter. And when they do, that saves me some water bill. 
and I can add that to what I want to, you know, get through Timu. And then I'll do start my laundry right after they read the meter, and that'll be on, I won't have to pay that until June. So, crossing fingers and uh, hoping I can get a Timu haul on here. I would like to. I uh, don't know how much I can spend, but I'd like to give it a shot. So, well, I'm going to get off here now. That's 15 minutes of babble, babble. So, hugs to you all. Uh, you know, hope you had a good Tuesday. Uh, not much else to talk about. So, hugs. Love you. Uh, if there's people showing up, hey, subscribe. Go ahead. I mean, even if you never want to watch me again, if you think, you know, you could be notified if I do a Timu haul or I get something from Amazon, you never know when I'm going to do it. And I never know when I'm going to do it. If you're subscribed and, and you hit, I think it's a notification bell, not even sure, then at least you'll know, uh, you know, if you're interested. And if you subscribe, then, you know, I don't know if you have to be subscribed to be notified. That I don't know. Uh, but I appreciate every last one of you. So, hugs. Love you all. And I will get back with you tomorrow sometime. So, DP Crazy Lady is out. <laughs>